Nothing like a hot cup of coffee. And today I want to talk to you about, well, coffee. See, I have this friend, and she's very particular about her coffee. How so? She likes it with milk, and she likes it very, very hot. Now one day she poured herself some coffee and was just about to add the milk when the cell phone rang. <coughs> Dilemma! Now what is she supposed to do? When should she add the milk in order to have her coffee as hot as possible? Right away? or three minutes after when she finishes her call. So what do you think? Well, don't stress yourself, because we can actually test this using the Fourier sensors. For this experiment, we're going to need the following equipment. NovaLink data logger and the Multilab software, two temperature sensors, hot coffee, about 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, milk, about five to 10 degrees Celsius, and two cups. Now in Multilab, set the sampling rate for 10 samples per second, and the number of samples to 2,500. Now let's begin recording in Multilab. Pour 150 milliliters of very hot coffee into each cup. After several seconds, pour 50 milliliters of cold milk into cup number one. Remember, this is the add milk right away strategy. Smells good. Now wait for about three minutes, and then pour 50 millimeters of cold milk into cup number two. This is the add milk later strategy. Looking at the graph, we can see the temperature decreased in both cups. No matter when you add the milk, you get a decrease. But if you look closely, you can see that the final temperature in the add the milk later cup is several degrees lower than the add the milk early cup, suggesting that waiting to add the milk actually makes the coffee cool faster. How come? Well, we know that heat always moves from a warm body to a cool body, but what determines the rate of the heat transfer? Well, according to Newton's cooling law, the greater the temperature difference between the warm body and the cool body is, the faster the heat transfer occurs. The coffee without milk actually cools faster than the coffee with milk. Take a look at the slopes of the two curves. The slope for the red curve is steeper than the purple curve. That's because there's a greater temperature difference between the surroundings and the black coffee than between the surroundings and the slightly cooler coffee with milk. You know, if I had to guess, I would have said wait till the very, very last second to add the milk. But hey, you can't argue with facts. For hotter coffee, it's better to pour the milk right away. Remarkable. <laughs> well, now I need a coffee break, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking putting the coffee and then the milk, or maybe should I wait for three minutes, or maybe it was five minutes, and then add my milk. I'll, I'm not going to have coffee. <laughs> 